Hi, Chris Matson here. In the world, we have uh, many different energies going on. And we can distinguish first, the planet is different than the world. The planet is the planet. The oceans, the trees, the land, the mountains, flora, the fauna, the sky. And the world is that which is within the mind of man. All the conversations and agreements. The world of humans. And all that is in the world is a result of conversations and agreements that have gone before us. Uh, we call the town the town, the name of the town, because there was a conversation uh, at one point and they decided to call it that. Streets, countries, you name it. And all of these things were created mainly by past consciousness. Most of them are not even on the planet at this time. And within the world of man, this is essential, uh, but there's a spectrum. Uh, picture pure dark, pure black, uh, moving up into just, just pure, pure light. Now remember that the darkness doesn't have a source. That's important, yet light does always has a source. Now, within the spectrum, we can also uh, think of pure evil. Just the most blackest, darkest evil you could think of would, would be at the bottom. It, it would be, uh, you know, a consciousness that is just all about itself. It's pleasure, it's gratification. It's, it's just harvesting everything around it for its own benefit. The opposite, the, the other end of that spectrum, would be a being of, of pure light, of pure love, of what we consider, some people would use the name avatar, uh, a being so filled with love and light and, and, and all the effects of that, compassion, mercy, gentleness, all of that. And so, all of the past conversations and agreements that have formed the world unto the present time have mainly been based on darker forces. In other words, forces that were moving in fear rather than love. And so in this consciousness, uh, many would call it unawakened, consciousness, um, they had a belief because every aspect of the spectrum from dark to light, there's certain effects from, from that light spectrum, that, that place. And so up until now, mainly what's happened on the planet in the world of, of people is that there have been beliefs based on these darker spectrums. And so in these beliefs, it's, I must conquer others and the planet in order to harvest what I want. And that power and all of these things, domination, manipulation, war, any means, that I can use to access this will be used. That's what the darker forces, that's what that's all about. Now, and so within an aspect of these darker forces is the pyramid. And what the pyramid in this case is about is uh, we could use a corporation as a good example. Uh, you'll have the CEO. And then under that, the board of directors and the managers and then all the rest of the people. And, and so at each level, 
the next level up is feeding off the level below and they don't really know what's going on at the the level up and now the, the inerrant flaw with this structure the pyramid structure is those at the top are harvesting the energy of those below it and their concern because they're they're moving in a darker force of competition and I must take and the more I get the more happy and powerful blah 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 I am so in this pyramid structure the inherent flaw in it is that it no longer or never did serve the highest good of the whole it's, it's all about going up the ladder Right? And so if I can get, so the people on the bottom are trying to fight their way up or manipulate their way up and scheme and scam to get to higher up in their pyramid. And now within each corporation, um, they are subject to other pyramids or corporation. We could really interchange the word pyramid or corporation in this case. And now, some of the corporations are, are more hidden. Uh, governments are corporations. The banking systems are corporations. Even the military, uh, pharmaceutical industries, the medical, uh, education, all of these different things are, are based on that same pyramid structure that has inherent flaws, which is an attempt, those at the top, to continue to have their power and to gain more power. And so rather than in any of, of the structures or systems that we have in place now, uh, rather than them serving the highest good of all, they're all bent on serving the highest good of whoever's the top of that pyramid. And so that's why even uh, things like charities so often again they're at the pyramid uh, thing so you know you may be giving your money thinking that somehow you're, you're bringing a cure to something whereas really uh, you know they don't want the cure whatsoever because then they don't get their cash flow anymore you know uh, fossil fuel industries anytime there's somebody that's had uh, beautiful free energy devices in the past they've been suppressed immediately and so that's that pyramid structure we we're all too well aware of it and that's based uh, is as above so below as within so without uh, the collective body of man has allowed these pyramid structures because somewhere within them uh, as an individual uh, we haven't risen collectively together, you know, within ourselves, right? Now, on the other side of this, as soon as a person awakens or moves in love and light and the higher up the spectrum they go, the less they want to dominate, control, manipulate, uh, dictate, or, or somehow harvest off of others or be a, a parasite of, of any sort. They want to work in harmony. They're about communion. They're about uh, contributing to the whole, being a blessing, moving in harmony. They recognize that true happiness is not about anything external, about owning and possessing and dominating. It's about being in harmony with it all. Uh, rather than uh, countries and borders. Countries and borders were based on, again, the pyramid. Uh, what happens is uh, people join together in alliances and they go, okay, together we will fight this other group, these competitors, right? And then within them, there's this struggle and fight who gets to be at what place dynamic on, on their pyramid structure. 
And that's where countries were born from. That's where kingdoms and, and on and on like that, right? And so now as we move into a new earth, what happens is, is all of those, the concepts of country, of corporations, of domination, they go away. And now we're at a crucial juncture on the planet at this time. Uh, many call it the Grand Awakening. And the reason so is that more and more people are moving into the spectrum of love, of light, of spiritual awakening, recognizing the oneness of all, and seeing the lies and the manipulations and all the destruction that is caused both to people and to the planet because of the darker fear-based corporate pyramid structures. And so, what the New Earth Nation, what, what that is, is simply as people are moving into this awakened place of wanting to be love, of, of wanting to, to no longer participate in systems that don't serve the highest good of the planet and all people, uh, they are moving into new visions within their mind and in the collective mind. And that new vision, whatever that looks like, that's what the New Earth Nation is. Now, there's many unfoldings at this time, branches of this, uh, uh, what I coined the New Earth. Uh, the Thrive Movement, what a beautiful movement going forward, Ubuntu. Zeitgeist, to name a few, uh, they're not in any sort of opposition with the new earth nation as a vision. They're all branches of the one vision. And this one vision is guaranteed 100% to happen. And the reason I say that is because only love and truth can remain and be sustained. Everything else is subject to fall. There's a seed within it. Anything that's of the darker energies, that's not based on love, that's based on fear, domination and stuff, and anything that's based on fear has a seed of destruction built within it. Anything based on love has, has growth within it and will sustain. And so it's very much so like a caterpillar. And <clears throat> so think of the old world systems, the pyramid structures, the governments, the politics as we see it now, military forces, all of these things, GMO food, suppression of free energy with fossil fuel industries trying to dominate still, all of that stuff is a caterpillar. And now, within a caterpillar, what happens, and uh, there's, there's a, a scientific term called imaginal cell. And what happens in a caterpillar is one imaginal cell pops up, and the caterpillar goes, whoa, an intruder, an intruder. And so it attacks it. And the very chemicals that are used to attack it actually feed the imaginal cell. So the more it's attacked, the more of the imaginal cells grow until as we know it turns into this jelly-like phase and then the butterfly emerges. And so those people that are awakening now in this grand awakening, they are uh, like those imaginal cells. And so the more the caterpillar cells try to hold on, the more they crash and burn. Uh, it, it's rather a beautiful thing. And so we are going through a transition now uh, on the earth. And so how quickly and effortlessly 
we make this transformation is to what degree are people surrendering in their lives to true love, to pure sweet love, to be present in the moment, to being awakened. Now awakened has many different aspects to it. One is a cultural awakening, realizing you know what's really going on out there, the Illuminati, you know, and the major pyramid structures at the top that are governing the others, you know, all of these different things, why all the false flags like 911 and all these different things. That's the cultural one. Uh, and there's the spiritual one. And in the spiritual one, it's recognizing that it's not about beliefs. It's about the state, the vibration of being love. And in that vibration, we recognize the oneness of all people. That it's not dependent upon a belief system. Those are old world pyramid things. Uh, you can still, you know, uh, have whatever beliefs you want. If, if you want to be in a religious uh, dynamic with a deity, you know, Christ, Mohammed, whatever, that's fine, you know. There, there's no, no aspect of that that goes against. It simply enhances being in the state of pure love. Like I like to say, true religion is simply a guide pointing to true love. And so, as a spiritual being awakening, what we do is, is we simply allow this moment to be love. And as the old energies come into our inner being, you see, it's all an inside job, right? So, as, as I see things within myself, I release them to love. And collectively, we do the same. We're not fighting against the old world system. We don't need to because it's crashing and burning all by itself. It's in self-destruct mode. The U.S. dollar alone, you know, shows what's going on there. Uh, the fact that uh, the money spent on killing people through wars and trying to keep this pyramid structure alive, that's really what the militaries are. Uh, we could food, shelter, clothing three, four times over all the poor people on the planet that is being put into war, you know? Like, like that's just plain stupid to stay in the old systems. And people are recognizing that as they, they move into love. And so, you will see more and more of soldiers just saying, you know what, I'm done. I have no way I'm going to go kill people. Police uh, saying, you know what, I'm going to transition all of my energy into supporting, nurturing, loving those people that are hurting. Every aspect of what was an old world dynamic of trying to keep a pyramid structure uh, in place can be transformed into new earth energy and that's what it's all about. And so uh, in conclusion the new earth nation as an idea is that idea that coalesces into form as people coalesce into being this love. And because more and more people are awakening every day, and it's the natural progression of the human consciousness collectively is to move into love, because that's who we really are. Uh, <clears throat> the more and more that happens, the more and more the New Earth Nation will arise. And it's just like the caterpillar turning into the butterfly. It's not a matter of if. It's simply a matter of when. We've already 
one, quote unquote. We're already the butterfly. We're just going through the process now. And so uh, I urge you to become aware within your own being of the state of love, holding visions of what the new earth looks like, and sharing those, knowing that it's the conversations and agreements that we make now. That's what matters. Whatever things from past conversations and past agreements, whether they were laws, because remember, court systems, the, the whole law thing, that's just another corporation with a pyramid. You know, it's, it's got nothing to do, in truth, with fair justice for all, you know, liberty and equality. It's just another corporation. And so even the laws that have been made, uh, those were past conversations based on darker energies in a pyramid structure. So what we want now is to create new conversations, new agreements, and move within those. And within your own personal life to, as much as possible, be in the new earth this moment. You may be living in the city, uh, <clears throat> and but you can still get off the grid a lot. Have some solar panels in your house. Uh, make sure that you're buying local, organic food. Boycott uh, anything that is of the old earth systems. Remember that with every dollar, you're voting. So it's a transfer of energy, right? So all of your energy that incomes to you, incomes, you can outflow as new earth energy, that which brings in the new earth, just like an imaginal cell would. And so with that, uh, here we go. Um, I will be creating a video next, and this will be how do we uniquely, individually maneuver through this time. I know a, a lot of people, especially the younger generation, they just literally cannot deal with the old world systems. They're programmed different now. Their DNA, they're, these crystal children in that, they, they, you know, they can't even, they, they can't handle a nine to five uh, job as a slave at the bottom of the pyramid. You know, they're, they're, they're new earth children, right? You know, as young adults now and stuff. And so the, the next video will be how to manage at this transition phase as a new earth being. And with that, thank you. I love you. Let's do this. Namaste.